Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to unbox the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 10.1. Now, the unique thing about this video, other than this is a new tablet we're looking at, is that I'm recording this with the Samsung Galaxy camera that I unboxed the other day. So, for any of you that want to get a feel of how well the video is, here's the video. So, let's unbox this. This is $500 from Verizon. You can get it with or without a contract, or at least service anyway. And you can see here's our SIM card. And this is an LTE tablet. Let's pop this out here. Kind of heavy to begin with, but we'll take a look at that in a moment. So here we have start here manual. Right here we have their kind of Apple copy connector, dock connector. I'm surprised they kept that. And then we have an AC adapter. This is a wall adapter that USB plugs into, and then this is just an adapter for the United States for the wall, the AC. So uh, that's not really anything too interesting. We've seen that before from Samsung. Let's take the screen protector off here and put this here. Flip it over here. There's another one on the back we'll take off here. All sorts of plastic. And there's another piece over an IR sensor that's on the top. So here's the tablet itself. You can see it's uh, actually pretty nice looking. It doesn't really look like an iPad. They've changed it a little bit and they've removed or changed some of the bezel. You can see the speakers right here. So the actual tablet itself has 4G LTE connectivity and EVDO. It comes with Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich, 8 gigs of internal storage, has a micro SD slot. Let's take a look at that here. So we have a micro SD slot on top, SIM card slot, IR sensor, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, volume up and down, and power sleep wake button all on the top here. Then we've got this screen on the front, which looks pretty nice. Uh, from what I understand, it's a 1080, or I'm sorry, a 720p screen, or really it's a 1280 by 800 WXGA screen, but 1280 by 800 is just above 720p. It has a 7,000 milliamp hour battery in it that's good for about 12 hours of usage, according to Verizon, and up to 624 hours standby. So let's see if we can pop the SIM card in and turn it on. So here's the SIM card. I'll just undo this here. Here's our SIM card. See if we can pop it in here. It's a micro SD. The SIM card's in place. Now, one thing I wanted to show you is we have a 3.2 megapixel camera on the back. We also have a forward facing camera, and those are more for video communications, VGA camera, not really anything great. So let's turn it on here. There we go. It's turning on. You can see the camera had a little bit of a focusing issue. Let me move the light out of the way a little bit more here, too. There, I've moved the light out of the way. You can see we're at the setup wizard. We'll hit next. It's waiting for it to connect to Verizon, and it doesn't look like we have any connectivity down here. Finding more and more wrappers all over this thing. There's one down here. There was one on the speakers. It really wrapped this thing quite a lot. It prevents scratches, but... It's quite a bit. So it's activating. We've got service, and these things are sticking to my hands. Get these out of the way here. Now, while we wait for this to activate, the tablet itself feels pretty nice. It actually feels a lot more rigid than the original 10.1, and feels like it'll hold up a little bit better. It also has a little bit different specs. This has a 1 gigahertz dual-core processor. Nothing really crazy there. Uh, it does come with ice cream sandwich, but there should be a jelly bean update that came out for it recently. So it also has a gig of RAM inside. So I don't know why they haven't put their quad core processor in it, but this should be just as nice, I guess. We'll see how the user experience is once it boots up and activates. We're signing into my Google account. We'll wait for it here. This Galaxy camera that I'm recording this video with, as I mentioned before, actually is is pretty nice. It looks pretty good. And uh, I'm pretty impressed, at least from what I can see here uh, on the screen, what it looks like. 
So we'll hit done and we'll go to the home screen here. Now I do have to say the screen, these icons look a little bit cloudy. Maybe it could be a little bit higher resolution, but it, it, it looks, or at least spec wise, should be okay. Now we should have the Jelly Bean update. This is your typical Samsung uh, setup for this particular device. Let's go to settings, see what we have here. We have Android 4.0.4. .4. Let's see if we have an update. Check now. So it looks like ice cream sandwich is what we have to deal with for now until there's an update on Verizon. But if any of you have used this, you know it's pretty fast. Jelly Bean would be real nice to have on it. And the device itself seems like it's pretty nice, but we'll check it out a little bit more in more detail later. If you have any questions or comments regarding the Galaxy Tab 2 10.1, please place those in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.